Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to do a very quick uh, talk with you about the little robot for ramp. What that is, is a little bit of a staircase that you can attach to the opening of your little robot for to make it more or even more so accessible to your cats. Um, if you have young cats or healthy cats, cats that are not that old yet, I'm sure they won't have any problems with getting in and out, jumping in and out even like one of ours does. But if you have a cat with any conditions or anything that uh, limits him or her in the way he or she moves, then yeah, this could be something that you can give to your cat as a gift, you know, to help them, help them suffer less. Um, so it's $69 in the US. I don't know what we paid for here in Europe. Mike, what did we pay for in Europe f for that? Mike doesn't remember. Uh, it should be more or less the same price as here in Europe from what we saw. So uh, you can have it in white or in black. And they say that it comes with an anti-slip anti uh, uh, you know, thing that covers it. Uh, I must say, ours, if it had it, then it was so light that it wasn't even noticeable. But yeah, so... Um, Maybe you're one of those that is using this and is happy about it, but I must say we're not. So this is going to be a negative review. Um, so when, when we got ours, we thought that at least Luna, who's having a medical condition that limits her in the way uh, she moves and jumps and all that, we thought she, at least Luna, would appreciate that. But... When we attached the whole thing, we installed it, set it up, and the whole thing was done, we saw that neither of them wanted to climb on it. Just uh, before they even tried it, before they even, you know, uh, uh, touched it with their paws. They just, they were not having it. They were not feeling it. They were not open to a new experience. It's not like that we saw them getting on it. And then, you know, having second thoughts that, no, we're cats, we don't like this, we this. Immediately, they just didn't like it. They just didn't like, apparently, the way it looks. They didn't like the energy that it gave, looking at something attached to the opening, or otherwise, where they would otherwise climb themselves, get in and out. And now there is this, maybe this art as an obstacle. I, I cannot read cat minds. I'm just giving you what I think I saw. Uh, so immediately they did not like it. They did not try it out. Um, and as you will see on the video, when they come out, they avoid it. They avoid it like hell. They, they, they don't even want to touch it with their paws. So they're doing all these, they're, they're going out of their way to do all these kind of crazy uh, acrobats just to get out of it, to get out of the, lower, uh, the little robot four without even having not to touch that thing. It's that much how they hate it, and it's that much they're trying to avoid it. Um, so in our case, it's a, an epic fail. This is not something that our cats like. Also, for some reason, uh, when the, uh, Miko likes to jump out of the litter robot four, and what you see is that he leaves a whole trail of litter on the whole staircase. And because they're now not coming out the normal way, which at least helps to get some of the litter off their paws, normally it does that, normally it does that, because we have this anti-slip little mat that we have under that. It's now, you cannot see it, but it's under that staircase. Normally that helps to take some of the litter off their paws, but because they're now avoiding having to walk down this little staircase, what they do is they just come out as is and uh, their paws have not... They jump out. They just jump out. So what it means is that that amount of litter that sticks to their paws when they're inside the litter robot four, that amount is what ends up on the floor of our kitchen in this case. So that's also another side, a negative side effect. Uh, but the website says that it will help uh, uh, you know, solve this problem, help help you get l even more or less little robot on the floor. And it, it doesn't make any sense because they were used to the stairs when we had the little robot free. So it's not something that um, where you say, okay, the cats just have to get used to it. No, they were. 
they know how to use a stair, but they just didn't like the, this particular one. Yeah, but also the stair that he had back then was l less higher maybe and it wider. It was larger, it was much wider. Yeah. yeah, the stair for the Little Robot 3 is wider than for the Little Robot 4. So, um, if the Little Robot guys are listening for some reason, because I'm sure you guys have many uh, clients to listen other to, but things to do. other things to do, but maybe try this staircase, but then in a different variant. Make it wider, make it uh, less intimidating. Or make it wider at the top and yeah. then taper it down. I know it's, it, yeah, that must not be a pretty sight, otherwise they would have done that. I don't know. But all in all, I must say, and maybe me and Mike disagree on this one, but me, I would say stick to the older model. Because this model that we have now, the Little Robot 4, is really wide open. It's like a gaping opening looking at you. And what that does is that gives the cat the feeling, especially cats that are uh, naughty like Miko, they get the feeling that, you know, it's, it's um, it, a ticket for them to allow themselves to just jump out just like that when they finish. While with the other one, where the opening was a little bit uh, smaller, less wider than this one, um, they didn't do that. It was not as inviting for a cat to jump out. Um, so, I, I disagree because then we had a cat that did the very same thing. What? W with the older model? Yeah, Bagheera used to jump out. Bagheera used to jump out. Yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> but I think a lot of the jumping out was solved by the newer fans we got. Right? Yeah, but he's still jumping out. He's still jumping out, but he's he has to take a hurdle now. So at least that counts for something. But there's only one there's there's still one thing that I want to add to this because I think the guys that make the little robot, they themselves have noticed that maybe the opening should be a little bit smaller, less wider, because Mike showed me last week uh, an add-on piece that you can add on to make this huge gap less huge yeah and it's it's not yet available outside of the us <laughs> but what it basically does it completes the bowl the ball shape uh, at the front so it adds a little bit of a dome and then adds uh, like this little cat flap thingy so the opening is smaller and does not invite to jump out so there you have it. So the conclusion, as you will see in this video, we ended up throwing it, throwing it away uh, in the trash. <laughs> sadly, we didn't have anyone that we could give it to. So sadly, this is it. Uh, I hope this is ho uh, helpful. Doesn't mean that what goes for our cats goes for your cats because cats are really as different as humans are. But this is just our point of view and our take on this and our experience. Just so you know that there is a possibility, not all cats like it. Yeah, and I do want to say that our cats in that way are very easy. Uh, whatever technology we throw at them, they uh, adapt immediately. They're not dis the, the scared types, not the, the types no, that need to not. assess the, the situation endlessly before the, using it or doing it. They, they are really early adopters of everything uh, that, that's going on. But this was a step too far for them.